Hey Craig, it's Shami with Salton Chrysler. Just want to send you this quick walk around video. And this was on the 2021 Ram Rebel, the 1500 Eco Diesel. So I do want to give you a nice little detailed walk around. I did give it a little bit of a wash. I know you said you're not uh, in a huge rush. I know you're going to be coming in here, you said in the next kind of day or so, but uh, I still feel like it's a little bit of a crime to do a video on a car that's uh, got some lot dust on it, right? So here's the vehicle itself in a really nice uh, silver paint color. Now, if you'll notice on the front end here, you do have some really nice parking sensors. Obviously, you do have your black hooks in there as well, as well as your fog lights. Um, now, when it comes to the appearance, I mean, overall, you find on the Rebel, just like with the uh, Ford Raptor you were looking at, I mean, it is going to come in as that super aggressive uh, kind of take anywhere vehicle, especially in a, a nice truck with those... Uh, uh, included upgraded tires and, and suspension skid plates like there's so much to go through uh, but i'll kind of go through the aesthetics and the exterior interior just so you have an idea of what we're looking at now this vehicle as well it does have the nice 18 inch rims now you do have the dura tracks right so really really nice tires definitely a good mud and snow good mix for the winter and the summer but really nice profile you see on the on the bottom end there you do have that contrasting uh, black uh, paint on the sides here so really really nice contrast this is a full crew cab it is a push button ignition it is one of our newer dodge remotes as well so really nice got the built-in car starter with you as well now in the back you do kind of have uh you know some uh, some tracks for your cargo and whatnot this one does also have the spray in bed liner as well as the rear pass view now other than that though being smart access, you never need to uh, to use the key to open the door. You just hit that button right there. Um, but I did also want to show you as well, this one does have the outside re uh, uh, heated mirrors. Um, you do have a little extension here. Put that down to help you get in the, uh, the back of the truck nice and easy. Put that up. Um, but other than that, you see the nice big Ram logo. Everything is all blacked out in the Rebel. Uh, dual exhaust this one does have the rear sensors in the back as well and it's kind of nice how they've made them very very nice and uh, kind of low profile kind of just tucked into that lower fascia other than that though I mean like I said just a really really clean truck give you a nice little view from the back here I mean definitely does look really nice let's look at the interior I'll start off with the back seats so you see in the back here i mean obviously this one does have the cloth in the middle with the leather mix um lots of space back here okay tons of space i am six foot two i'll hop in here to give you an idea of my kind of knee room but i will let you know as well in the back here you do have your ac vents you do have four nice chargers so you know whether you have something a little bit newer or a little bit older i mean either way you can find the charge you do also have a nice plug-in just in case you're you know have any kids or, or uh, taking any trips and maybe you have a laptop or something back here. Sound system in this one is an Alpine sound system. It sounds phenomenal. You'll see some of the speakers just on the roof there, kind of built in, which is really nice. Here's some little storage and it does, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it does have quite a bit of space in there. Now let me pop this up so you can get an idea of what kind of storage we have back here and what kind of space. pop that down I mean even the door just overall the build quality is really really nice and I kind of feel where Dodge has nailed it over their competition especially as in the quality of the interior um, now you notice the passenger seat does have that nice rubble badging it is still the cloth and leather mix doesn't have the power option on the passenger seat itself um, but another nice touch too here is you do have a dual glove box so you do have your space underneath there, but at the same time, you do have room for even some uh, nice documents up here as well. And you see you got a nice little rubber, rubber lined uh, uh, little accessory tray there. And let's hop in the driver's seat. So the window sticker is on the vehicle. We always leave them on, uh, but this would be the exact uh, window sticker you can refer to as the one that I had sent you via text. Now, when you do come to the inside in the front uh, seat here, you will see you have a power driver seat, which includes your lumbar um, as well. Let me just hop in as well. So you do also have your power pedals 
I don't know if you can see that, but they are moving there and back. So that's definitely a nice touch. Your electronic parking brake. Now when it comes to the uh, the steering wheel itself, here, sorry, I guess we got uh, a little client here. Move out of the way. So I mean, the gear shifter itself is electronic as well, which is super cool. You have your neutral two wheel setting, your four wheel low and your four by high. Uh, hill descent control as well as your axle lock which is super cool now similar to ford and their trailer assist we have trailer steering here on the on the rebel uh your brake uh, assist as well as well as some more usbs and auxiliary in the front there so obviously dodge keeps up with the technology and you can tell especially looking at this big tablet screen um, but at the end of the day when it comes to uh like the glove box you got another usb right there and this is a dual glove box you open it up you have a little bit more kind of schematics for measuring and whatnot as well so obviously very well thought out this itself you can move and manipulate kind of based on your uh, your storage now you will see just for the bed we do have some clips here uh, you do also have a 400 watt another uh, plug-in charger right there so i mean obviously when it comes to the tech it's quite a bit you do have your nice LCD screen. This one has 364 kilometers. Um, you do have your Bluetooth, your hands-free system, and that is uh, uh, an adaptable screen. So you can kind of toggle through different options. And even notice how they've kind of digitized the, uh, the kilometer range too here on the side. So aesthetically, I mean, I really feel like they've nailed it out of the park. Um, even up here on the RAM, you'll see you got another 12 volt plug-in obviously there's that alpine sound system but uh you do have a emergency assist and sos button which is really nice as well and this is for your rear hatch so your rear pass through right there um, but other than that when you want to look at kind of creature comforts this one is going to come very very loaded backup camera you got your mirror power mirror dimmer your heated seats on both sides your heated steering wheel which is good for the winter time um, but you know even showing you the backup camera they're really nice quality it does have your line in the middle there for your towing make sure you can kind of back on into your hitch nice and straight it is adaptable so when I do turn the steering wheel you'll notice that it does turn to give you the direct path of where you're going um, but other than that it is all touchscreen, which is super nice. You do have Sirius XM satellite radio. I believe it comes with a six month subscription. Um, but other than that, let's see here. We do have navigation, huge screen, obviously very easy to use. And it's nice too. It's just like your iPad, pinch and zoom. Like, I mean, overall to be uh, interactive, intuitive, it's, it's very, very much so. Um, now also here, you do have a tow haul mode. That's for your traction control if you'd like to turn it off nice to do in the two-wheel drive if you want to do some donuts uh, but you do have the parking sensors in the front and rear that you can disengage as well now the AC I always do kind of blast to make sure AC is working very well especially in this kind of 38 40 degree weather but like I said very nice truck very clean on the inside and I mean at the end of the day it really seems to be like one that uh, will fit the bill will fit what you're looking for now when it comes to that eco diesel you know if mpg is 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 a consideration obviously i know it's kind of a catch-22 with some performance orientated but really the eco diesel is going to be your best bet um, and when it comes to the low end torque there's quite a bit of it so what i actually might do here is you know what let me take this for a quick drive around the lot i just did one in a camaro uh, manual transmission so this one being an automatic should be nice and easy give you an idea of kind of how this one drives but let me just turn the uh, climate down uh, there, let me just turn it off for a second here okay so if you want to hear that sound system too here, let me just put that on So lots of bass. I'm probably waking up half the neighborhood out here, but uh, you know what? Definitely got to see what this thing can do, right? So you know what? Just giving it a little drive. I mean, it's really quiet. That's one thing I noticed right off the get-go. 
So they did uh, improve the sound insulation in this new generation too. So you will find that uh, not only in the panels, but also in the, the, the glass as well, uh, being uh, the acoustic glass. But other than that, just a really nice clean drive. Like not much noise. And like I said, that's one big thing and one big plus in an eco diesel is when you're putting on the kind of kilometers that you might be, you know, just kind of running around with your daily vehicle. It's kind of nice to have something that's, you know, not always going to be the most ostentatious one on the lot with the most noise. Um, nice and subtle. But when you do need the power, like, I mean, you step on it and that torque really does pull you very, very quickly. And honestly, maneuvering too, it's super easy to do. Obviously, you know, these dirt tracks on pavement is one thing, but definitely would be really nice if uh, you do any kind of mudding or off-roading. I mean, the steering wheel itself too, the, the quality of the leather, like there's so many little things I can kind of run through, but obviously checking it out in person is, is going to be the most uh, ideal scenario, just so you can kind of truly appreciate it for yourself. But let me just turn up over here. Let me just give this one a quick park, nice and easy. All right. Oh, another nice touch too, I don't know if I showed you as well here, but uh, they do have the power fold mirrors and there I go. So let me just kick that out. So that's a nice touch. But Craig, here's the vehicle. Really nice Ram Rebel. I mean, obviously when it comes to, uh, to the price point, we are significantly less than the Raptor. And you know what? At the end of the day, this one does come very well equipped. So do give me a shout when you get a chance, uh, 780-932-7597. I am kind of getting started on the trade-in as well. Obviously, there might be a little delay being a long weekend, being obviously a, a, a holiday with Canada Day here. So, you know, even if I don't get that full trade uh, value in today from our, uh, uh, from our wholesalers that we work with, at the end of the day, I should be able to have somewhat of an idea. And it'd be nice, obviously, if you do come by tomorrow or the day after to see the vehicle in person, right? So once again, Shami from Southtown Chrysler, give me a call. When you get this, let me know what you think. Thanks so much.